On The Woman We Love Today, we have a global personal business finance coach and chartered accountant with over 20 years of hands-on experience. Mm. She's also passionate about helping people understand the make, manage, multiply money message, maximize their resources, achieve their crucial financial milestones, and build true wealth through the concept of financial planning. Welcome with us, Shola Adesha King. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Money, so money, money. Yeah. 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 Oh, Sally, I love money. I love money, yeah. I like to put that out there so that in case you're owing me, you pay me. How do you help women, first of all, make the money? So we always talk about managing, 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 but a lot of us don't really know how to make that money you want to manage first. So what do you do in this And case? add, multiply it. And awesome. Multiply. Okay, all right. <laughs> Glad to be here. Um, I tell people there are three things to do to money, and you already mentioned them. Make it, manage it, multiply it. And the skills for the three are different. Mm. So some people already know how to make money, mm -hmm. but they can't manage. Mm. Some people know how to manage, but they can't multiply. Mm -hmm. You see, so well, back to your question, how do you make money? I'd recommend a book called The Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. And it says everybody can generate cash flow from at least four quadrants. Okay. You can be an employee. Mm -hmm. That means you're exchanging your time for money. Someone yeah. is paying you salary. Yeah. You can be a self-employed. That means you have a gift or talent you are monetizing. Mm -hmm. And then it says you can be a business owner. Now, before COVID, people would think of business as having a brick and mortar structure. Mm -hmm. But these days, I tell people, business is a coalition of systems. You can do business in your house mm -hmm. with anyone. And then the last quadrant is becoming an investor, where you send your money to work for you. I love that now, one. what I love to tell people is you can actually function in all of the quadrants at the same time. You can be earning a salary. And then when you have spare time, you're monetizing your talent. Mm. You see, I am a chartered accountant. I've got my business. But I am still on the payroll of a company as a consultant. Mm. So what it means is that when the chips are down in one area, you have one to fall back to. there's something to fall wow. back to. So I can monetize my talent. I can speak. Mm. I've written books. I can write more books. I can consult. I can coach. Okay? Then I have businesses. Let me give you an example of a business that doesn't have to be brick and mortar you know, structure in nature. So I'm an accountant, but I have a flair for personal finance. I've been qualified 20 years, but I've been teaching personal finance seven to eight years. So because of my training as an accountant, and because I still pay all of these subscriptions and all of that, people come to me. I have a firm that does accounting functions, but you know where your flair is, is personal finance, and yeah. that's where you put in all your efforts. Mm -hmm. sure. So people will come, do our accounting stuff, and I'm like, I still pay subscriptions, though. I must generate money. So I went into a partnership with a friend who loves accounting. Mm. So what we do is I bring, in the, I bring in the prospects and the leads she executes. Well you see? So we have that's a small... Partnership. That's, that's partnership. That's partnership. That's business. Mm. Coalition of systems. Mm. I don't know what they're doing, but I trust her to deliver. Mm. You see? So that's business. And then as an investor, I put my money to work in different asset classes. So using that quadrant, you should have an idea of how you can make more money. Mm. Okay, so monetize your talents, be on the payroll of some, someone, provide value, do business, invest. Oh, shall, shall I'm free. Let, let's talk about like that. <laughs> the, how to earn the money. So some right. people see business and see class, suits, uh, you know, all of that. And the, our people will say, "Eno kini mo lowo wa, eno be lowo wa." You understand? Do you have Do you have to only make money, looking classy, hmm. or can you make money doing the job, the type of the job that um, looking dirty uh, that makes looking money? Di that makes money. Mm -hmm. So I tell people, you see, a credit alert any day in your bank account trumps a debit alert. Mm. Yeah. So if you want to buy something <laughs> worth, say, five thousand naira, using your card. And you have 4,995 naira on your card. <laughs> it will bounce. Mm. Yes. It shows you the power of every cup of every naira. Mm. Like Whatever that. that can bring money to your table genuinely mm -hmm. is to be respected. Is it. to be valued. Respected. Whether in suit or whether in overall. Mm -hmm. yes. So I told you I'm qualified. I qualified 20 years ago. Four years ago, you know, I just had this knack for pastries. Uh, it's a long story, but I went to learn how to make 
page fees. Mm. So I tell people I'm a chartered accountant, I'm a chartered donut maker. <laughs> I'm a chartered <laughs> cut egg maker. You All see, right. when the time comes for us to do accounting and speak, we speak. Mm. When the time comes to put our hands in flour, in debt, we do it. Mm. Another thing I see is these days, you know, people who are gainfully employed look down on business owners. Like, yes. oh, you say they are monetizing mm. their talents. Mm. Oh, you, you see, or, or serious people. Get a job. You say, go and get a job. Yeah. And then those who are entrepreneurs too are looking down on career people. They are slaving away. Mm -hmm. See them. They are wasting their time. They are using their talents for people. Who has made us judges over one Whoa, another? Mm -hmm. As long as money is coming in the genuine way, keep building. That's mm -hmm. it. Keep building. And that's why I said cash flow quadrant combine all. Mm -hmm. You see? So we talk about multiple sources of income, but we forget that there are multiple sources of expenses. Yes, hey, hey. We know that one. <laughs> Hold that finish. thought. <laughs> we'll take a break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. <laughs> Welcome back. Miriam had a money question for Shola. Go ahead. Yeah, I have a personal question for Shola. So, um, you know, I've been, I read your profile and there's some things that you said that really caught my attention where you said that even though you had, you're an accountant, chartered accountant, it didn't show in the way you spent your money and how you managed your money. So what did you need to do to, or have you done that to spend your money better, to manage it better, and to multiply it? Okay, so I just literally embraced financial literacy. Mm -hmm. So I usually will tell people I was a chartered accountant. I am still a chartered accountant, mm -hmm. but my finances were scattered. Mm -hmm. So I thought I had village people after me. Mm -hmm. I thought I needed deliverance. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought it was the government. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we keep blaming people. Oh, it is my husband, it is the government, it is my children, my parents. They are the ones stifling my financial growth. Wow. But I tell people there are three economies. Your personal economy, your the, uh, local, uh, national economy mm -hmm. of your country, and then the global economy. Because what happens globally affects your personal finance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I took responsibility, first of all. Then I embraced financial literacy. Mm -hmm. And financial literacy is a combination of three things. Number one, the right mindset about money. Mm -hmm. You see, that's where a lot of us fail. Mm -hmm. ah, only rich, only those who went to school can make money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, only those who only came government. from uh, wealthy, rich, homes. wealthy yeah. homes. Only corrupt people can be rich. Only you evil know, people. You money know, all of those conditions that it's we have. Mm -hmm. you see, so the mindset, number one, the knowledge. Good. How do you gain knowledge? Yeah. Follow those who know. Mm -hmm. Your social media, what are you watching? Mm -hmm. What are you scrolling through? What, you're just flipping through pages. What mm -hmm. are you doing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Follow those who know. Follow me. Follow you. Follow everybody who knows about finances. Mm -hmm. The first thing I said when I got here was to quote a book. Read books. Mm -hmm. I'm a, an eight-time author. Yes. Yes. Read books. Mm -hmm. Personal finance. Watch YouTube videos. Yes. And then the third thing is the skill set. Yes. Learn how to save. There are skills to these things. Learn how to budget. Learn how to invest. Most times people just want to do. They don't want to, first of all, be. Mm. You know the be, do, have principle. Mm. Be, first be, of all. Be, do, have. have. Be wealthy in your Fantastic. mind. Fantastic. Okay? And, do what and then do what those things. Mm. Understand savings, then save. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not just about the action. Action. Ah, People hear about an investment say, I want to invest all, then they yes, invest. They do it I want to save all, but understand, why do I really want to be rich? What are my money values? Mm. When you understand those things, money it makes it a lot easier. easier. Thank you so, so much. Let me give you, yeah. okay. I wanted to go Just personal. Some questions yeah, so yeah. How, how do you have a 20 years experience in financing plus your chartered years and keep family? Manager? Okay, so I'm a mom of three boys, and right? Also, how do you manage? <laughs> I believe complex? in... Integration. Yes, I know they teach us work life balance, but balance is very, I don't know how to so put it. Is it yes, yes, sort of. So, integration. I have always had a living nanny. I know some people don't believe in it. Yeah, I but believe see, in it, you. Support system mm. is it's good. Important. You can't be everywhere. Mm. And some people are naturally good at homemaking. Mm. Thank God for you. Mm. Some of us are mentally strong. Thank God for us. Mm. So areas of deficiencies get help. Mm. Exactly. So integration, I've got a nanny. I make out time. I am deliberate. I do what I can do. I don't judge myself. I don't castigate myself when I fall. When I fall, 
I pick myself up okay. and I keep moving. Integrate yeah. everything. Oh, thank you so much, Sasha. So is there any other thing you're working on that you need mm -hmm. us to know? Okay, so at Smart Stewards, uh, we provide financial literacy. We help people achieve their financial milestones. Next weekend, we are having a summit mm -hmm. online. If can you we go, come? Can oh, we yeah, yeah, can you can come. Oh, it's online. Go oh, on my okay, Instagram page. Online. Okay. Shola you get the details there. Oh, it's okay. going to be amazing. We've got industry leaders. And the title, the team is Focus on the Future the fusion of people, wealth, and technology. Mm. Where's the money of tomorrow? Mm. Uh, artificial we intelligence need to get the money of and tomorrow. all of those things are contending with us, even mm. as people. Mm. We need to be wise and sharp. Mm. Thank you it. so much, Shala Adeshake. Yeah. We've been speaking with Shala Adeshake, a global personal business finance coach and chartered accountant with over 20 years experience. Thank you so much. We had fun.